What's going on everyone? AJ here again with another episode on uh, Bravo Studio. Uh, we are building um, this Bravo app. Uh, I'm doing it for the Bravo team. I want to, you know, allow them to be able to, uh, you know, showcase, like anyone could be able to download this. Anyone could download this app and just, you know, learn more about Bravo. I want to give them uh, resources that they can easily navigate to and start learning. Um, they can check out the products, they can check out some tutorials from experts, beginners, and they can join the community. Um, right now in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, custom notifications so that we can send custom notifications. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to add instant transitions to to the to uh, each page. Uh, we've already navig. Oh, we're gonna add a splash screen. Oh no, we're not. We're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna do instant notifications, and then um, I mean not instant, our own notifications. We've already set up push, but um, in app notifications, we can kind of create our own little page through Airtable and send data that way. Um, so you can say, you know, Bravo could be like, hey, check out new tutorials for beginners. We just added five more, whatever. Like. Um, and then what we're gonna do after that is just make make sure we get instant transitions here. So to start, you're gonna wanna make sure, I'm gonna actually bring this like this. So to start, you're actually gonna wanna make sure that you have everything in here uh, looking how you want it. Uh, so first and foremost, I'm just gonna bring my header up top. I'm just gonna make sure that these are um, in the right place. So. We have, I actually just pinned this bottom tab bar to the bottom. I just feel like it works the best um, when it comes to tab bars or task bars. Uh, so I also have a top header that shows our header, like container, a top header container with the top bar. So it's always at the top. And then this is where our notifications are. You're gonna, to create a list, you're actually gonna have to make sure that uh, this list is uh, when you create this this frame that holds this list, you, you actually just wanna make it so it can hold just one, like design it like this, and then Bravo's gonna copy and paste and, and for all the content you have in that list, right? So then on top of that, if you just do that, you're gonna find that in Bravo, when you scroll down, like if we put enough notifications to scroll down, you're not gonna see the bottom notification. So you actually have to put in a spacer container and this spacer container, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that is, uh, it's in the frame. Uh, so this will give some space so you can see the so you can see the bottom container. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna just refresh this. And Bravo's been having some issues updating and actually showing legitimate updates in like show legitimate pages here like in the um, yeah, in the uh, yeah, designer here. So if I go over, I just wanna make sure my notifications um, page is working correctly. It is, we got profile, we got all this, boom, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and actually move this log up button a little. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click refresh, and then we're gonna head on over to our notifications. So I created this Airtable, these are all the the tabs that are currently being um, uh, pulled to Bravo. This is our beginner links, our expert links, products built on Bravo, haven't added yet, and notifications. So for notification, we're just gonna actually add a, actually one thing I, I want to let you guys know. If you were, if when you open an Airtable, there's usually uh, one, there's usually three blank uh, space, like three blank fields, right? So if you actually hook up this database to Bravo, if we hook this up to the notification page and we left these two blank, um, you're gonna see. I'm actually gonna do it for you. So let's go to the notifications. Let's go to um, YouTube Bravo. Let's go to the notification list, content and notification. Uh, we need to add the records here. Notification is going to be uh, the actual notification, and then we're going to grab the time. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to update this. Just update it in my 
Now I hope this messed up notification page doesn't affect Oh, it actually worked out really well. <laughs> um, so it actually looks like if you have those blank spots, um, and if you have these blank spots right here, but you have a space, if you have a, uh, you have the spacer container here, it almost looks like it eliminates the bug that happens. Usually, what happens is it literally this one notification will take up the whole screen, and then you actually have to swipe up to see the rest of the notifications which um, is really annoying so what we're gonna do instead is and and actually there is a bug here because you can see that it's it's still using this which is not what we want um, so let's head on over let's call this uh, note oh. let's call this notification one we got notifications working spread this out like this 155 notification to um, check out new tutorials we've added let's make it at uh, 1050 uh, 1050 you know what? I don't even like time let's actually not do time and let's do like date and yeah let's just do date convert so let's do the fourth and today's the fifth and let's send notification. Yeah, let's just say we traveled. This is a notification from future Asia. Sure. So it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> we'll just put it in that whatever. Come in here. Let's click update. And let Bravo update real quick. Okay, head on over notifications. And we head on over. This is a little messed up, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, format date, US, save. Update this again, see if we can get this, you know, working correctly. And we might have to oh, bring this out a little. Increase this to 14. This. And we also, yeah, we also, yeah. So this is this is good. And come in here. We're gonna update. So now we have uh, the date set up in our notifications, everything's fine. Uh, so we got notifications set up, which is awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to Bravo and we're gonna head on over to Learn Center. Um, in the Learn Center, uh, I'm actually gonna type in, actually, uh, Bravo Master Tag List, and then let's head on over to Transitions. And we're gonna do Transition Instant. So we're actually gonna just copy this, head on over to Figma. Let's um, put this after, put this after, put this after. The reason why I'm doing it on the top frame is because Bravo is saying it needs to be on the top frame. So we're gonna update this. And when I mean this, like why am I doing this or why am I putting it? It's because, um, Bravo tags are what make something happen in Bravo, and this is where to put the tag. It's very important, or else it won't work. Um, in our next, I'm gonna try and see if we can add reveal page animations, which would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, this this is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so we'll definitely check that out. So we're gonna update this, and we're gonna update. 
and you're gonna see we're gonna have instant um, should have instant transitions here so before it was sliding right and left you know sliding to the right like this now if we click <laughs> now it's instant now it looks like that tab bar doesn't ever move which is exactly what we want but you see how it's moving just a little so if we go in here and we center this make sure everything's centered and this is on x39.4 x39.4 x39 perfect so now let's go ahead and update okay update Let it a little, little, okay. Now we're good. So we go back and forth. Look, now it looks like a legitimate app. And I'm just tapping. Tap, tap. And now I'm, I'm actually going to log out here. Oh, they don't have log outs. Oh, yeah, I don't think log outs. Is it? It is set up. Okay, well, I'll debug that. Figure out why that's not. Oh, it did. Okay, so it just lagged a little. <laughs> All right, we're good. So we have forgot password, which is working. Perfectly fine. We're going to click cancel. We got sign up working, right? Um, you know, we're, I'm going to actually add some other transitions. Uh, so, you know what? Just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and try one of these new ones. Slide from bottom. And let's do top level frame a page. Okay, so I like putting that on here. And let's go ahead and do this. And let's see what these look like now. So we're gonna okay, hold in, update Bravo. Okay. Okay, let's go to QuickTime. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I like that. Okay, so what, so, okay, so that's interesting. So I wonder what's gonna happen. I wonder what's gonna happen if we were to do something like um, I wonder what's gonna happen if we if we if we try doing this. To be honest, can we have multiple tags? Okay, we might be able to have multiple tags here. Okay, so yeah, that didn't work out well. Actually, it kind of did. So I've added a slide up and then an animation as well. So like when I click forgot password, that kind of looks good. <laughs> Do the same thing <laughs> for sign up here. Let's go ahead and uh, add this here. Perfect. All right, guys, so once this updates, update, we're going to be done here. So nice. Got that done. This looks amazing. And what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and add my face ID. All right. It was this guy? Yep, I logged in successfully. Go to notifications. Head on over there. 
settings, notifications, back home, tutorials for beginners. Let's say Chris Jenkins, I just made that up, but it's really me. AJ, some more of me. Tutorials for experts, video one. Got nothing there yet. Products been on uh, Bravo, got nothing there yet. And then yeah, we got a couple more things to do. So in our next video, we're gonna we're gonna add our prof we're gonna design our our profile page, and then we're going to um, add a uh, the products built with Bravo. We're gonna add the experts. We're gonna um, join the community, join our community link, and then after that, what we're gonna do is we're going to set up the. Um, app icon and assets uh, splash page and then we're gonna launch this baby we're gonna launch it in the app store and hopefully Bravo appreciates it and we can help others learn more about Bravo so if you like this video please like subscribe comment I want to hear your thoughts I'm sorry I've been so busy I haven't been able to really like make a ton of videos my startups kind of blowing up here and I've um, been super focused on that uh, you can check it out it's called Clava www.clavaapp.com it's gonna be in the description um, but I really appreciate you checking out this video and I hope it's helped. Uh, I will be launching my own um, uh, Bravo app. It's called, uh, it's called Design Turn. It's going to be helping designers discover uh, design internships. So getting close to launching that guy, really excited. And um, yeah, I will, I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Please, please, please let me know if I can help in any way. Go in the comments, do whatever you need to do. And I'll see you in the next episode.